My 113-year-old Taipo is the oldest person in Canada. I asked her what her secret to a long life is, and she said, it's because I'm happy. And then there's me. I wasn't always like this. Once upon a time, I had something I love more than anything else in the world, ballet. I love this a little less, but she forced me into it. Anyways, soon love turned to obsession. So at 14, I left home for a Russian ballet school. Did I mention it was not so secretly funded by Korean cult money? Yeah. On the first day, my teacher told us, in Russia, we have two courses for lunch. First course, tea. Second, lemon. Enter a five-year battle with my body. It started with trying to please my teachers who told me to lose weight, but slowly I developed this voice inside my head I couldn't escape. It was screaming at me to be perfect and exert control. I became addicted to the praise and approval I got for restricting. I felt safe. I was doing great, just a little exhausted and dizzy, blacking out during rehearsals, but I was getting everything I ever wanted. I was a ballerina now, until this one moment that slapped me back into reality. A middle schooler came up to me in the cafeteria and said, you're so skinny, all the teachers love you, I want to be just like you. Fuck. I didn't want to be like me, so I went home. Recovery saved me, but that shit was hard. Physically I was better, mentally I was way worse. My entire identity was shattered when I gave up control. But slowly, over time, I felt the pressure release. I had a taste of that evasive happiness my Taipo told me about. Then I found music. I thought ballet was the only way I could express myself, but I was wrong. I started writing songs. Songs about my life, my relationships, struggles, ballet. Yes, okay, I got a little obsessed. Some things are hard to grow out of. Fast forward to now, I spent more nights awake than asleep trying to convince myself I'm not having a mental breakdown, letting the pressure of it being perfect totally consume me. But at some point, you just have to say, fuck it. Fuck perfection. Fuck your tea and lemon. So I'm releasing it. Here we go again.